On the last episode of the Right Stuff All-Stars, the guys had two stages to complete, galloping for colors and the SIG Bowl. From riding a horse and collecting flags to shooting with the SIG pistol in the bowl, it was Terry Mason with Team Tannerite that showed the guys how it's done. Who has what it takes for today's challenge? Strap in, because it's time for the Truck Pull and Pow Challenge on the Right Stuff All-Stars. Welcome to day six of The Right Stuff. The Tom Light Chevy Duramax is fueled up and ready for our four all-stars for the Truck Pull and Pow Challenge. Will they manage to keep calm in this double elimination round? It's time to find out who has the right stuff. Gentlemen, welcome to your next challenge. This is a Chevrolet Pull and Pow event. We're gonna hop in this awesome Duramax. We're gonna run down this stage and we're gonna do some shooting. Let's see what the narrator has in store for us. Welcome all stars to the Truck Pull and Pal Challenge. Today our competitors will be driving a Tom Light Chevy Duramax that will be towing a trailer where we have staged an Armalite AR-10 in its own case. The guys must stop at five different stations, shoot at different targets, and end with the final target of Tannerite. However, for every target missed, there will be a 10 second penalty. The fastest time wins. All right, guys, y'all ready to get out of this heat? Yeah, sir. All right. All right. Terry, if you'll lead the rest of the guys out, Val, if you'll stay with me, we'll be good. Tom White is the oldest family run dealership in Bryan College Station area. We have lots of great selling vehicles, some awesome product that Chevrolet makes, but our number one bread and butter vehicle is the Chevy Silverado. It's got four full size doors, it's got the perfect size bed, and this truck has a 5'3 liter, 355 horsepower engine and this thing is just smooth as glass on the highway. We have one of the best lineups in the industry uh, with all of our SUVs coming from the Tahoe, going down the new Traverse to the most popular SUV that we have right now, the Chevy Equinox. One thing that makes us really unique is we have a lot of experience in our sales department and service department. You can also find us online at tomlight.com. Lots of information, lots of pictures on all of our new and pre-owned inventory. We will not miss your business because of price. When you buy the vehicle from us, we guarantee we're gonna take care of you. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Tannerite, Seaforce, Academy Sports and Outdoors, SIG, and Tom Light Chevrolet. Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Vortex Optics, Nexus Ammunition, Polaris Fun Center, Armalite, and Surgeon Rifles. Ready. First up First is Ray Chernside with Tom Light Chevy.
Something's up. Nice! That away, Ray. I'm ready. All right, sounds good. Stand by. All right, shooter ready. Stand by.
Yep. Truck and pull, here we go. Mm -hmm. Shooter ready. Stand by. Guys, what a challenge. It's hot out here in Texas. Did y'all enjoy getting in that Duramax? Yeah, sure did. Absolutely had little air-conditioned seats going on. That was kind of nice. Daniel, what happened? I got a little burnt. 308 barrels tend to get hot, apparently. I never knew. <laughs> well, we'll check it out back at the Camp Fire Armory. I know we're excited to see how we did. So, Terry, if you'll lead us out, we'll head back there. My name is Chris Wolfel. I'm the Vice President of Sales with Seaforce Bottling Company in Navasota, Texas. So, Seaforce Water was founded in 2015 by Gina and Chuck Norris. It is a certified woman-owned business. Mrs. Norris owns 51% of the company. In the United States, we're in uh, 18 states. Some of our bigger customers are Love's, Travel Stop, Maverick Convenience Stores in the West, Easy Mart, HEB, Fiesta, United Supermarkets. So a portion of the proceeds go to support the Norris' foundation, Kickstart Kids, helps to fund the inner city kids, their programs, do after-school programs in karate. The water is found here on the ranch. The pH runs anywhere from 7.5 to 8.2. It's carbon dated 23,000 years back to the last ice age, and it's very pure and pristine water. So we have a state-of-the-art bottling facility. When the water it comes out of the spring house, it goes straight to the plant and put in the bottle. So when you open the bottle and drink it, it is the first time it's ever been touched by man. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Wiley X, True Spec, Pro Shot Gun Cleaning Kits, Dripping Springs Vodka, and Bison Union Company. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Champion Firearms, Body Armor, Fat Man Beef Jerky, Liberty Safe, Boot Barn, and Double Click Holsters. Let's head over to the Campfire Armory to hear the results of today's challenge from Will. Guys, welcome back to Campfire Armory. How's the day been? Warm. Hot. <laughs> it is hot out here in Texas. Holy cow, it's a different kind of heat, isn't it, Ray? Yes, sir. We have some results, but first I want to go over a couple things. Daniel, did you get a little burn from the rifle? Did you touch the barrel? Yeah, I did. Coming into one of the first positions, my hand was uh, just right in front of the hand guard. I usually put my finger up in the front and it happened to slip and tag the barrel in. Just like that, burnt me real quick. Val, what'd you think about the Chevy? Oh, it was nice, man. I hit that that tow mode and put it in low and hit the road and it took <laughs> off. Gave me every, all the power I needed. So we'll go ahead and get to the results. That was an exciting challenge. You guys all shot really, really well with that 308. The winner is Val. All 
right. Congratulations, sir. Thanks, sir. Good job. Good job. It's about time, huh? <laughs> All right, right stuff bullet. Always my favorite. You know, guys know that. I reiterate it every time. Sportsmanship, just guiding others, helping out, doing the right thing. Again, Ray Turnside. Congratulations. Hey, there right. you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. All right, we are at that point in the competition where there has to be eliminations. All right, and the guy who has the least amount is Daniel. I need you to hang up your bandolier, you fire your last shot, say your goodbyes. Enjoyed it, sir. Yep. Good seeing you again. Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job, buddy. Thanks, see you guys too. I'll yes. see you. Right. Gentlemen, it's not over. We have three. There can only be two. Val, unfortunately, you have fired your last shot and you are also eliminated. I need you to hang up your bandolier and say goodbye. All right. I enjoyed it. Pleasure meeting you. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Appreciate awesome. It. Awesome. Hey, good luck. Appreciate it. Stand strong. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, Terry, Ray, congratulations on making it this far. You still have a lot of work to do. I need y'all to get a little rest. It's hot in the sun. Make sure you're drinking some more of that Sea Force water. Hydrate your bodies, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Val wins the challenge bullet, while Ray picks up the right stuff bullet. This now gives Ray a total of three bullets and eliminates Daniel from the series. Terry and Ray are tied with three bullets each. This eliminates Val with only two bullets from the competition. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Birchwood Casey, Revy, Outdoor Edge, Shoot Steel, Sawyer, and Hyperfire. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Techni Ice, Blue Steel Targets, Black Rifle Coffee, Commerce Bank, B&T Industries, and Liberty Safe. I think I did pretty well. I mean, I did the best of my, to my abilities. Um, had a few mess ups, but I mean, that's what happens. You can't win every single one. You can definitely lose some, and that's how you learn, and you gotta just try harder next time, work on those things I made mistakes on, and just try it again. Uh, something that I could have done better was instead of rushing the first few competitions was definitely taking my time slowing down making sure i got more hits on target instead of trying to compete with the competition shooters and trying to go faster opposite of his mine is basically slow down um like being a competition shooter we go a little pretty fast i think i went a little too fast on a lot of these things it kind of made more hiccups come up more than it should have without a doubt it's going to be terry I'm gonna have to go on the opposite side just because there's one Terry, I'm gonna have to go for the underdog and go for Ray. Maybe he'll get lucky and Terry might break a leg, who knows, you never know, but let's go Ray, don't let me down, man. Yeah, we had a double elimination today with two contestants and uh, didn't really see that one coming. They, they, they beat me hands down on the rifle on them two stages, but hey, you know, still here. Now I got my little chubby buddy to compete against now. So I think one of the most overlooked aspects in the shooting sports, a lot of times is endurance and training. A lot of us will spend tons of time at the range because we're doing things we love, we're shooting targets, we're having fun with guns and friends. So sometimes it's a benefit that, you know, my daughter's 14 now, um, she's starting to get more into an active lifestyle. So we start to run together and do things more outdoors. And I think that's, that's helped out in some of the um, stages or episodes that have required a little bit more activity and movement. And so I think what I need to spend more time on is fundamentals. Coming up on the all-star edition of The Right Stuff, it's the final day and only two competitors remain. Terry Mason with Team Tannerite and Ray Churnside with Tom Light Chevy will go head to head in the Tannerite Final Apocalypse Challenge. Who will ultimately be the one to claim he has the right stuff? Who will outperform, outshoot, and outlast his competition? Another fantastic Shipman Agency production.